Oh, there's a bird diving in it right now. One of them big turns. All right, so why are we stopping here? Okay, what we got is we got a suck out right in front of these pelicans. It's cutting out into the next bar. So it's a really good spot. You can clearly see the suck out. I'm not sure if you're going to pick it out on camera. Maybe we'll get on top of the truck to show you. But just here is a perfect spot. Also, we've got a nice, pretty narrow gut behind it. The bait's going to be washing out of that suck out. I like working suck outs. You've got all these turns here. I just saw a turn dive in there and pull some bait out of it. So we know there's bait here. So we'll give it a try and see what we can get. We're, even when we're using a big chunk bait, we need to keep it aerodynamic to get the distance that we need. Okay, so I'm taking a chunk of whiting, and then what I'm going to do is clean it up by removing the belly of the it like so, and clean the fin as well. So it's a nice clean chunk. Now the rig we're going to use is called, it's one of them SNC 12s. Got a nice circle look on it. Gonna put that up and bring it out through the skin. And then I go to the loop on the in. I then adjust the Davis crimp by pulling so both leaders are tight. So let's go and do a bank cut. Took some good drag, didn't it? It's coming over that bar, I don't like it. Come right out that pinch in the second gut. The gut really pinched down, put the bait right in the middle of it, and it picked it up. No weed down here, water clam is really good. I'm going to put it as high as I can eat. A little bit of weed. Got a good one on here, Brent.
Okay. I don't like killing them, so I try and let them go, but you've got to be careful because they can still give you a nasty bite. What I try and do is there's an area here where if you get it, you can put them to sleep. Say what you're gonna do. The uh, hook is right in the corner of the mouth, it's safe, so what I'm gonna do is just cut that out. And then what I do, keeping that really quick card, <laughs> you win. <laughs> That's how we probably got bit the other day. <laughs> oh, okay. Right there. Nice one! <laughs> Brenda, yeah. that's my little travel rod. I mean, no wonder it's... Oh yeah, and it's just... This reel is just slip, slip. Okay, what Lee's going to demonstrate is what's the correct pronunciation for that? I believe it's Ikijimi. Ikijimi. It's what you put the fish out of its misery, but also it's supposed to uh, make the meat more tender. So what you do is you drive the actual knife. Now in a redfish, it's going to be difficult because you're going to go right through that. I don't know if it will do it. Either. And what you're doing is putting it in its brain and you just finish it off. And once it's done, you got it. So you put it right in its head, kills the fish off instantly, and it's supposed to make the meat more tender and less acid in the meat, is that correct? Yeah, it's supposed to make it a, a lot more tender. Um, no ATP is produced, so Better. And we actually saw a video where the meat, like three days later, is still good, was right. it? Yeah. All right, so that's it. What'd you got, Lee? Redfish? Looks like it. be on the same fish. <laughs> Good one. Baby. Hold her up. About. Yeah, baby. Go. Cool. Lee's got a nice one as well. Good job, mate. Right.
Nice one. I know. <laughs> He's getting there. There you go. Never before